Hey, it's Aaron. So today we're going to look at the Chrysler Pacifica. This is the brand new 2021 model. And specifically, we're going to look at the Uconnect system. It's got a new, 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 new Uconnect 5. And it's going to proliferate across the board. So it'll start out in this 2021 model, and eventually you'll see it in all of these other Chrysler V, FCA, Fiat Chrysler, Ram, Jeep, I don't know. They're taking over the world. It's all of them. It'll show up in all of those. So we got an expert. We're going to talk about it. Check it out. So I'm here with Mr. Glante. Vince here is going to tell us everything there is to know about the new Uconnect 5, which is coming in the 2021? Yes, Pacifica. Pacifica. Yeah. So what do we need to know? Okay, so... Basically, the all-new Uconnect 5, uh, we have a really good system today, the Uconnect 4. Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's, it's won a lot of praise for just how easy it is to use. So we, we want to make sure that, that that's one of our hallmarks and we continue on that. So the Uconnect 5 has, a, uh, at, at first sight, is a, is a evolution of what we have today, but it's gotten better in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So it's five times more powerful than it was um, than the previous system. Uh, that's computing power, so you'll feel that when you touch the screen and when okay. you're swiping. You'll feel how snappy it is. Uh, it also features an Android operating system, so that's a really well-established foundation for us to build on. Uh, and it's also the most open development platform in the world. Okay. So as new features come out and as customers find new ways to use their consumer electronics devices and things that they like, we'll have a much easier time integrating that stuff into our okay. system. So it's a larger screen. I can see that just looking at it. Yes. This is, uh, how big is it? This is a 10.1 inch. 10.1, okay. Uh, it's about 30% bigger than our 8.4 inch today. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's about the same height, uh, but much wider. So uh, you get, a lot, you get a, lot, um, a lot more visual on the screen. The other, speaking of screen size, the other thing that you connect five, because it's an Android, it's a responsive design. And what that means is that it can scale and stretch to different screen sizes. So uh, this new system will span across our, our entire portfolio. So this will work on all of FCA's products. Okay. Um, and we can do things, this I would consider a squarish screen. We mm -hmm. can do landscape screens, uh, which we haven't shown any of those yet. We can also do portrait screens like what we have in the RAM. Okay. So it really gives us a lot of flexibility with the interior design of our products. Okay. So that was going to be my next question is, uh, will Uconnect 5 show up in the 12 inch screen in the in the RAM series? And Eventually, so, where it'll it'll show up in the entire. Okay, portfolio. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so this is our this is our new foundation to build on. Mm -hmm. I can see the output's different too. It looks clearer, and it looks. Yeah. It, uh, I think the icons, some of them have changed. So I, I'm glad you noticed. Yeah. <laughs> so it is higher. It's a higher resolution screen. So you're seeing some of that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also when we did the visuals of this, we really we used um, a card based system. So some of these screens, as we go through them, you'll see that all the information is captured in cards. Mm -hmm. That helps it visually simplify it so it's easier on the eyes. There's actually more content here than there was today, but it looks like less. Uh, we used a lot more solid color backgrounds and simple gradients and highlights on the buttons, um, which also gives it a more simple appearance, but it also gives the added benefit. That's all. That can all be programmed in computer code. So the file size is lighter, which means it'll start up faster, it'll react faster. Okay. Um, in the past, we used to do that with individual images for each button. And I'm seeing a marketplace. Yes. So I don't think that was on the previous, was it? Uh, it is. It we, is? We do okay. have it uh, uh, just recently. We have U okay. Uconnect Market. Um, it will be further integrated into this, and that'll be a really cool system um, because uh, with Uconnect 5, every vehicle is connected. So we have a 4G um, signal that we get into the car. Okay. And so things like Uconnect Market will continue to grow over time with, uh, with new vendors and new services. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've used it uh, to order literally Dunkin' Donuts yeah. and then just drive through and Everybody pick up your coffee, coffee and you're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, you said cards, so I immediately think, you know, nerd stuff, Warhammer or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you're talking about with cards are, that's those are like individual, like browser tab stuff? Would you, would so you like use we, that analogy? So if you analogy? look at the screen here. You'll mm -hmm. see this. This everything here is one big card. Okay. So you'll see all. So you're profiles, talking about the visuals. The visuals. Okay. But okay. All, all, there's another. I'll show you an example. Mm -hmm. All profiles, edit profiles. You swipe over, it moves to the next card. Okay. So you can you can do it in that way. Um, same thing here. You can swipe back and forth um, between those different cards. When the home screen comes up on here, you'll see three separate cards on the screen. So the home screens are okay. new. Is the newest okay. thing in our system. We haven't had that before. Mm -hmm. Other car companies do have home screens. Where ours is different is it's fully customizable. So that will allow you to build okay. a page of your own design. Okay. And so each one of those, the one when it comes up, there's three different cards. 
you can uh, you individually select what those cards are, and you okay. can make up to five pages of those. So for me, like for instance, uh, I'm actually a pretty simple. Uh, I like a pretty simple interface. So I had two cards on one page, and one was navigation, and one was media. Okay. And right. then on the second page, I had one that was like heated seats, cooled seats, and those sorts mm -hmm. of things. And the second one is what we call shortcuts, where you can mix and match a whole bunch of stuff. So I had like call my wife, navigate okay. home, uh, launch you connect market. Th those well, sorts of cool. things. So you can yeah, mix and match. That's so really cool. What was nice about that is I found myself when I'm driving, I can switch between those two pages without looking because you can swipe anywhere on the screen, and it also allowed me to get. Uh, I just used those two pages. Really, I didn't have anything else. So, I just want to commend you on the professionalism. He called them seat warmers, not bun warmers. Oh, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh, so. It's it's a really pretty screen. I don't know how easy it is to capture it on camera. It's it's much clearer, and yeah. so your your previous design was was already really good. Yeah. Uh, I assume the the uh, the speech to text and all of those things are still there. Yep. So okay. we have two we have two voice systems actually. Mm -hmm. So one of them, um, which we're really happy about, is Alexa. So we have now we'll have okay. Alexa embedded in the car. Okay. And that'll be there when uh, it always it'll be there when you're connected, mm -hmm. which should be most of the time. And so what that'll do, it'll allow you to do voice commands for certain things like HVAC, mm -hmm. navigation, mm -hmm. um, those sorts of things. Some actual smart home type of things as well. All the things that, that you know and love about that Alexa. That was my next question. Can I have it turn on the porch light or yep. something? Because our house is enabled. And so we have uh, Hue lights all over. Yeah. So it'll be, it's Alexa. Okay. Yeah. That's so, and, really cool. And because it's connected, as Alexa learns and gets better at speech recognition, mm -hmm. so will our system. And activate it in the usual way? Yeah. Hey, Alexa. You, you hit the button here. You say, hey, Alexa. Or you say, hey, Alexa. And it, it okay. launches up. Uh, the other thing is, if you don't have a connection, we have a voice recognition system that's embedded in the car from Nuance. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, it, it'll be an upgrade from what we have today. Uh, we're getting better microphones, better integration to the navigation, things like that. But So whether you're connected or not, you always have a, a really nice voice recognition system okay. to use. And uh, clearly, it'll still ha you still have uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yes, so, okay. and they're both wireless now. That so, is cool. So what's really cool is you can jump in the car, and your phone can stay in your pocket. And, and you're you ready have, to go? Yep, you have, you're ready to go. That's awesome. And it's so, Bluetooth? It's Bluetooth, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, so we got a lot of cool stuff. I, I think uh, we really, one of the things we really try to capture here is just continue that ease of use. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's really responds well with our customers. So, like, one of the things I'm really proud of is most of the system, you can get to everything you want to in two touches. Mm -hmm. And that's always kind of been one of our metrics that we right. use. With the home screen, the design challenge there was, what would it look like if we put an app in the system that you get to everything you want in one touch? So, Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it, Vince. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.